everyone. Welcome back to our United States Army Reserve Pay Management Division YouTube channel. I'm Sergeant First Class Irvin and I'm your virtual instructor. In this video, we will demonstrate how to The Personnel Pay Mismatch Report is a critical unit level internal control for military pay audit readiness. Units must be able to prove to auditors and inspectors that they reconcile and certify their mismatch report each month. You must become thoroughly familiar with Appendix L and the USARC PAM 37-1 draft to ensure you reconcile the mismatch report correctly. The mismatch report lists discrepancies between DJMSRC and TAB DBR, our last, data. Mismatches in data can result in under or overpayments. Two versions of the report are available. The personnel pay mismatch reports are available for download from the RM Reports module in our labs. The Pay Management Division alerts units when the mismatch reports are available for reconciliation. Units that do not receive their monthly paper mismatch report in RLAS must use the cell res paper data discrepancy issues subset report and the commander strength management module, also known as CSMM, to identify and correct mismatches. You may wonder why some units don't receive their mismatch report in RLAS. Well, There are many flaws in a DFAS process for generating unit pay reports that result in many units not receiving their personnel pay mismatch report each month. Additionally, DFAS does not produce a negative report for units that do not have mismatches, making it difficult to determine whether the missing report is a result of the flaws in the DFAS reporting process or a lack of mismatches for the month. Units without a personnel pay mismatch report in RLAS will use the alternate reconciliation guidance in paragraph L-3 Bravo of the USARC PAM 37-1 draft. Do not contact the RSC to request your personnel pay mismatch report. The absence of the personnel pay mismatch report in RLS does not excuse a unit from the requirement to ensure that the data identified in paragraph L-1 Bravo is accurate in tab DBR, RLAS, and DJMSRC, and to certify the report. So, we're going to learn how to retrieve the paper data mismatch report utilizing the Commander Strength Management Module, also known as CSMM, to identify discrepancies and be audit ready. Follow along with me as we log into CSMM and reconcile. From the RCMS home screen, we're going to click on CSMM over here on the left hand side. From there, we're going to go up to the top navigation bar and look for leadership reports. Hover over, hover over data quality, and then cell res pay per data discrepancy issue subset. Let's click it. Once we click on the subset, it will open up a page that looks very really similar to this. Yours may look a little different depending on how many units you have that fall under you. Usually company level, you may only have one UIC as to where a battalion or higher may have multiple down traces, which means they'll have multiple UICs to select from. So you just look for the UIC that you were looking to reconcile, which it should be all of them, honestly, but the one that you're interested in reconciling and you click that UIC. And then it brings us to a more itemized breakdown. Okay, so when you're looking at this, pretty much it's giving you a grand total. So how about we break down these columns one by one? Not in per file. This situation takes place when a soldier appears in DJMSRC, but not in RLAS. Not in pay file. This is the opposite. A soldier appears in RLAS, but not in DJMSRC. However, I need you to take note that AGRs do not have a DJMSRC account, but they will show up on your per account. So you may think it's a mismatch because they're showing up on your per account, but not in your DJMS account. So make sure you take note and don't forget. A UPC mismatch, pretty self-explanatory. A UIC mismatch usually takes place if a soldier transfers units. Last name mismatch, uh, let's just say someone got married, or it could be something as simple as a misspelling. A P-band mismatch, that's pretty self-explanatory. A grade mismatch, and then you have your paper discrepancy primary issue, which is a grand total of all the numbers. 
If we would like to have an itemized view of a particular category, all we would have to do is click the hyperlink pertaining to that category. For example, we have 131 soldiers who are currently not in pay. So if I click this, it would only show me the soldiers who are currently not in pay. However, if I wanted to see this report in its entirety, then I would have to click on the pay per discrepancies primary issues and then I would export this document. I would like to divert your attention to the Report Tools Navigation section. In this section, you will see an Excel icon that will allow you to export report data to Excel. Click it and save it. Next, we will navigate through the two reports. The report on the top being the mismatch report generated by DFAS, and the report on the bottom being the cell res paper data discrepancy issue subset report generated by CSMM. The first column here made it very easy for us to dictate whether it was a pay situation or a personnel situation. However, the report generated by CSMM, unless it starts off with pay or DGMSRC, it is per. So for example, the pay file soldier's name, DJMS. But then when you come over here to the soldier's name, you notice that it doesn't say pay in front of it, therefore it is personnel. The social security number mismatch in the mismatch report generated by DFAS let us know whenever we had a discrepancy between pay and personnel when it came to social security mismatches. However, the report generated by CSMM will not indicate a social security mismatch. Therefore, we would have to use other means of determining whether we have a mismatch with our social security numbers. Name. We pretty much went over name when I was given the examples of the pay and the per. UIC. The UIC on the cell res report is actually indicated by UPC. UPC of one UPC, is this a pay or is this a per? If you said per, then you are right. Because pay is way over here. Pay UPC. Grade, let's look at it. The cell res report, here we have DJMS RC grade, and then you have grade. DJMS RC grade is this grade that is located in pay, while the grade is what's in personnel. PBED, the PBEDs are actually in the same location. You have the PBED that's in the pay system, and then you have the PBED that's in RLAS. And then you have the times mismatched on the report generated by DFAS. However, you will not have that on this report. Now, one of the cool things about the mismatch report generated by DFAS is we used to have these asterisks here that let us know what was actually mismatched. Here you do not have that luxury. So you actually have to go line by line and actually look at each soldier and see what is mismatched. And if just in case you're wondering, hey, what is this paper discrepancy DFAS not in tab DBR? Well, that means they're not in tab DBR. They are not in RLAS. And then you have paper discrepancy tab DBR strength not in DFAS. That means they are not in pay. So as you see, the report is a tad bit different but with a little bit of time and practice, it becomes second nature. Now we are officially ready to reconcile our paper mismatch report. Oh, did you think we were doing that in this video? No, you have to tune into our next video on how to properly reconcile the paper mismatch report as we will go through detailed step by steps to reconcile the report. Thank you for tuning in to our channel. Be sure to like this video and click that subscribe button below to stay up to date with our pay policies and procedures. Until next time, I'm Sergeant First Class Irvin, your virtual instructor, and you have a great day.